Hey guys, so this image right here, this could be it. It could be the final design of the Galaxy S9 and I don't like it because I want the Galaxy S9 look like this. I'm not saying that this is not good, it's just that the top bezel is of same size as the Galaxy S8's top bezel, which I don't like. Maybe it's not possible for Samsung to shrink the top bezel as it holds the camera, iris scanner and other stuff, but I want it to shrink. We saw this exact same kind of render with the Galaxy Note 8 from own leaks, which had a chunky bezel at top and a very very small bottom bezel. But that design turned out to be complete fake. This design is kind of useful, it improves one hand usability and the screen to body ratio, that's definitely going better. And Ice Universe has a great reputation when it comes to leaks and renders, that's why this Galaxy S9 render is so important. But I'm still hoping that Samsung can make this as the final Galaxy S9 design. This render don't show us the back, but for the back we got a cat drawing, which is most likely a fake. OnLeaks also tweeted that according to his most reliable source, this cat drawing is a fake or inaccurate. The back of the Galaxy S9 will change a lot, that's for sure, and I just forgot this point. In this render, the back of the device is red, as you can see at the corners. And I think it will be great to have a red colored galaxy after last seen on the Galaxy S6 Iron Man edition, which I never saw personally, but I have seen iPhone red, so I think I will like the galaxy red. Now it's time to talk some power. Samsung recently announced the new Exynos 9810 processor. This processor is still built on 10 nanometer technology but it's second generation. The second gen has improved custom CPU cores and it's now based on the Exynos M3 architecture which is Android's most powerful GPU architecture ever. This second gen processors will likely debut in the Galaxy S9 and will also be present in the Galaxy Note 9. It also has upgraded GPU and a new LTE modem which I completely forgot about and thanks to this modem the Galaxy S9 will be 5G ready. So guys this is it for this video, let me know your thoughts about what if this is the final design of Galaxy S9. I'm still hoping for this one but let me know yours in the comments down below. I will cover everything about the Galaxy S9 so make sure to subscribe, I'll see you guys in the next one, peace out.